Hey everyone, how's it going? Currently driving to a car dealership to go into the shop. The other day I was like in a really bad mood. This is part of the reasons why. It's because my check engine light came on and my car has been like really hard to start. And like when I first start off, it's like super, super jittery. Um, so I missed yesterday for work and today I missed work as well. Just because I don't want to be like driving my car too much. But now I'm, I'm headed to um, the service department seeing what's wrong with it hopefully they can fix it today that'd be amazing that would be absolutely phenomenal but if they can't hopefully they give me a rental because that well i got a rental the other day or like a couple months ago and that was awesome i got like a brand new it was like a 2019 hyundai sonata um so if that happens again i'm gonna i'll be so freaking happy um yesterday also i tried posting a uh a Justin Bieber reaction to get me and that got copyright blocked all my videos get copyrighted because as you know I do not cut up my videos really I basically post my full reaction to uh, to songs for you guys to listen to I don't even try to like not get it copyrighted but they still go up um, but this one got copyright blocked um, and yeah, sorry, my allergies are crazy. <laughs> ah. Sneezing while driving is actually so freaking scary. Hopefully I'm not at the shop for too long because I'm really trying to record the Eden Vertigo reaction today. I really want to do that. Um, but, I mean, I'm going to do it either way. But I just don't want to be getting back like 4 o'clock. Like, that's going to, that would freaking suck. And before we get more into this video... Guys, follow me on Instagram so we can communicate. Uh, I already got a couple people to follow me, and you guys are uh, are amazing, showing so much love, and are in open communication. I actually just had a conversation with someone yesterday, and they asked me how I was doing because I was like really upset the other day, and I didn't upload yesterday because it got cop it got copyright blocked, and they were like, "Yo, is everything okay? Like, what's?" Where's the video at? And then I let the person know, oh yeah, this is what was going on. So yeah, just like things like that, simple things like that, it really helps out. I don't know how you guys are gonna feel about my first vlog. I'm gonna try to make it entertaining, as entertaining as I possibly can, but I'm a freaking boring behind person. I don't do anything. <laughs> There's no way I am vlogging inside the shop because, you know, I'm, I'm a small YouTuber, per se. So I, I really have, I, I don't know, just for me, like, maybe I'll do it if I had, like, what, like, 50k subs, and I'm, like, vlog then I'd vlog in public, and I wouldn't be, like, ashamed of it, because I'm, like, oh, yeah, I have this big following. Just made it back home from the shop, very disappointed. I thought they were going to, like, check it right away, but I guess there was, like, a long line of cars, so they couldn't check it right away, and, yeah, so they're not going to know what's wrong with it for, like, a couple hours, and they're not going to be able to, like, find the exact thing that's wrong until the guy said like five o'clock today so i had to lift back home but was what was really nice i swear it was god I swear it was the lord this morning i got like a notification from lyft saying i had a, a half off a ride off lyft and i was like and it said i had an offer and i was like what's going on did i like what happened did someone like hack my account and like get get a lift for something and i checked i checked lyft and it was like oh you get 50 percent off like your next ride and I'm like, all right, well, I never use Lyft or anything. I'm not going to need it. And literally this morning I got that. And then they said, oh, it's going to be like a couple hours. Um, we can't lend you a loaner vehicle until we know what's wrong with the car. And then I was like, wait a minute. I can go home and record reactions. I was like really, I was really scared for a second. I was like, I'm not going to be able to record. This is my cat, Winter. Winter, look at me. Come here. Come here. She's actually a little meathead. Look at her. She wants to get pet. Next moment, she doesn't. Look, she's going right to the pantry. She wants some food. Look at her. Watch, she might try to attack me right here. No, never mind. <laughs> Last night, I had a real lazy night. Slept on the couch, watched some YouTube videos. I was really mad because my brother was watch. we were supposed to watch a movie, we ended up watching a bunch of YouTube videos, and I'm like, and then he was like, oh, I'm going to go upstairs and go to bed, and I was pissed, I was like, oh, I thought we were going to watch a movie together, 
Um, but the, here's the aftermath. We went to a place called Wawa. If you live on the East Coast, uh, Northeast Coast specifically, like you know about it. If you live out West or anywhere else, you're not going to know about Wawa. But Wawa is the best convenience store of all time. No debate whatsoever. Um, got some Chex Mix. Some, uh, what is it called? Spicy Sweet Chili Doritos. These dogs are fire. And then my brother got these. And we have blankets and pillows all over the place because we just didn't bother to clean up. But what I'm about to do right now, I'm about to record a bunch of reactions, or at least today's reaction. I have literally nothing else to do. No car. And you know what sucks is, like, hopefully someone will be back by the time they, like, give me a diagnosis on the car. Because what I'm thinking is going to happen is I might get a loaner vehicle. Um, and yeah, so, but I have to go all the way over there. It's, like, 25 minutes away. And I'm not trying to lift again. I already got half off my lift. It's, it's, it was only one ride. So, yeah, I'm not going to get that again. So hopefully someone is here and someone has a car. going to go record some reactions. And, yeah, I'll see you guys there. All right, I figured I'd give you guys a room tour. You know, it's nothing special, nothing real. You guys have seen, like, half my room already. But I figured I'd show you guys the rest. It's not as clean as I'd like it to be, but... There's like some documents and stuff that I want to like keep and I don't want to have to look for so I'll put it on my dresser. But anyway, here we go. We got my bed. See this right over here? This is the lens cap for the camera. You already know. I got this weighted blanket. I think it's 15 pounds. It literally puts you right to sleep. No comforter. Normal sheets, like I never I never make my bed. I never understood the point, like why make your bed when you're just gonna get right back into it the next day? Or or that night. Like it's crazy. Alright. So here we go. Under my bed. I got some Huel stuff. You guys don't know what that is, but I'll make it for you for this vlog. Uh workout thing. Um some games for the PS4. I got some shoes all lined up here. What I want to do is I want to get bins to go under here and I can put some stuff. Um, but yeah, this lamp. I like this lamp a lot. Got it. When I got it, I felt like a, a freaking adult. Here we go with my dresser. It, I, need to, I need a new dresser, honestly. You can probably see, like... Uh, it's it's going to focus. Please focus, camera. That'd be freaking fantastic. There we go. There we go. Yeah, it's a little chipped and stuff. I need a new one. It's really wobbly. Um, but yeah, here we go. So this is the, my most recent purchase. This was like a... I needed this. Got a mini fridge. Can't tell. Got some salsa in there. Some strawberry lemonade from Wawa that I got last night. And then a gallon of water which I use to make, I want cold water for my meal replacement and I need it, I need it like desperately. So now I'm gonna walk you through my setup right now. Got this chair, it was super, super cheap. It's like a gaming chair, but it's pretty, it's really comfy and there was like a really good deal on it. So yeah, got that. Got this water bottle, Brita filter water bottle. Fantastic. But oh wait, I wanna show you guys something. I'm trying, I'm starting a clothing brand. Not, it's not going to be merch. It's an actual brand. And I've been wanting to do this for a really long time. And this still is in the works. It's going to take a while, a long time for it to get started. But I'm going through designs. Um, and I, I, I think I picked out the logo that I wanted. I made these myself on Photoshop. It took me a while because I'm not really the best with Photoshop. But I want you guys to vote on your best, on your favorite option. Keep in mind, this is like a branding that's going to be going on a piece of clothing. Keep that in mind when you're looking at these logos. I already have my favorite one in mind, which is I'm pretty set on using this as the brand logo. But I want to hear your thoughts on it. Keep in mind on an article of clothing. Here we go. Option one. We got this. LTK. If you can't make out those letters, T and then K, and then a circle around it. It is pretty um, symmetrical. It's really symmetrical. Then we got this one, the second edition, or or more like the third edition. Actually, here's the second. Here's the second edition. Boom. LTK, just elongated, no circle. Um, you know, elongated, clean, pointy edges out here, which I really like. 
I asked a couple of my friends and they liked this one a lot more than that one. I went a step further because I, I like the logo a lot, the second one that's elongated. But I wanted it to be a lot, a little thinner, a little more modern, something that's really sleek. So, created this. Same, it's basically the same height. It's a, it's smaller on the paper, but same height as this. Um, but it's a lot more thin. Same thing. Looks really sleek. I feel on a piece of clothing. And then I kind of made this for, uh, just for fun, seeing like which. I was just kind of messing around. I was like, maybe people will be like, oh, it's a little more symmetrical, so they might like this more. But I'm not a fan of this one. This is definitely my least favorite. So yeah, vote on... Here we go. We're going to number them right now. Number one. Okay? Number one. Number two. Number three. And number four. Vote on your favorite one in the comments. And, yeah, hopefully it's number three. That's my favorite one. But what I wanted to do was go through a design that I had right now. I'm not going to tell you the meaning behind the logo yet until I make the whole announcement and I have everything set and I'm actually releasing merchandise. Then I'll tell you the meaning behind the logo of LTK. But was doing a little trying to design um, on Photoshop. <laughs> You know, it says Beloved right there on the side. And you got the logo flipped 90 degrees. Um, in a way, it sort of looks like a crown. Um, but, you know, it is on the same line as this. You know, to me, it looks pretty clean. It looks pretty nice. But I really like it. Hopefully, you guys like it as well. Let me finish my tour. So here we got my computer. Boom, built it myself. You already know, picked out the parts, built it, you know, pretty clean, a little dusty right there. I don't know if you can see. Only issue, like, there's so many wires, like, uh, but I can't do anything about it. Like, what can you do, you know? Maybe I can, like, pull them up and, like, attach them onto the bottom of the desk, but that's just so much, that's just so much work, man. I'm not doing that. But anyway, let's go in a step further. Got the Corsair mouse and mouse pad. Like it a lot. Corsair keyboard, cheap keyboard, but you know, does the job. Have all like this stuff. SD card reader, I use it every single day. Um, Astro mix amp. 23 inch monitor. I was watching some Cash Nasty. That, that dude actually cracks me up. Um, 23 inch monitor, one millisecond response time. Got this webcam, I, you know, I used to do some like gaming stuff back in the day. Another. Monitor, same exact one. PS4 controller. PS4 Pro back here. Sorry, I'm sniffling like crazy. My allergies are wild. Uh, book, Bible study methods. I haven't read that in a while. I need to finish that. Got this Samson uh, mic, as you guys see in my videos. I don't know if you can tell from the angle of my videos, but I got this uh, mini keyboard thing. Plugs directly into this or into my computer. And then I got my mix amp. No, my mix amp. What the frick am I talking about? Audio interface uh, for when I eventually, like, you know, try and make music and crap. Got this candle. Lavender lemonade smells fantastic. And I think that's pretty much, oh, and my guitar right here. You guys, I'm not gonna open it up because that's just, that's just way too much work. But I think that's about it. And then, you know, I set you up right here. This is the, this is the angle. Holy crap. I'm sorry, I'm sniffling like freaking crazy. It's probably the most annoying thing. You guys probably shut off my video. And yeah, this is the angle you guys see for all my reactions. I like to, uh, you know, keep it the, the same angle. Um, I try not to make too many adjustments on my little tripod. And yeah, this is the angle you see every single day when you watch my reactions. And that's, that's about it for the room tour. Holy crap, nine minutes of footage for the room tour. Hopefully I don't use all that. <laughs> but this is going to be the end of today's vlog, maybe. But if it is the end, I'll see you guys next time. Subscribe for more. Like the video. Follow me on Instagram. Link is down in the descriptions. See you guys next time. Peace out.